I'm just gonna talk about it because I'm that type of person. If something affects me, I am going to talk about this it. bag. I have some of the most controversial Bath & Body Works products that were recently released. Um, some liked it, some didn't. You can't please everyone. I just have a little rant. Um, I just want to say that I think that it is so wrong for some people to come on this platform and deter other people from purchasing something because they didn't like it themselves. It's a lot of that going on, I've noticed. Um, even at my job, my coworker, one of my coworkers, she told me that um, she didn't pick up a certain product because she watched YouTube and somebody had a rant about it, that they didn't like it, it didn't smell good, it just wasn't right for them. And she smelled the fragrance mist on me and she loved it. Now it's nowhere to be found. She's just SOL. So, I mean, I don't know why people want to deter others. If something doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you, but it's not right to come on the platform and discourage others from trying it. There are a whole bunch of brand new people for the first time went out to SAS. They watched your recommendations. They watched a lot of recommendations on YouTube. Then you came with your negativity and you crushed their hopes of getting what they thought that they would like. So I just wanna say stop the foolishness. Let's keep moving on. Stop complaining. People on this platform complaining about what Bath & Body Works has brought to the table for the sale, what they didn't bring, what they should have brought, what they wanted to see, what they didn't get. I mean, it's a whole bunch of nonsense that just needs to stop. And I'm just gonna talk about it because I'm that type of person. If something affects me, I am going to talk about it. So I don't know you, you don't know me, you know who you are. Stop the nonsense because you will never, ever always get what you want. Okay. So let's get back to the bag. This bag brought all that on and I apologize. Anyways, um, controversial, the Candy Violet Sorbet. Controversial. Some liked it, some didn't like it because there is a waffle cone with a scoop of ice cream on the front and a violet little flower on the front. And I'm not gonna sit up here and try to discourage people from using this. I've used this at my job. It's very light. It's such a beautiful, clean, clean fragrance. I love this. I definitely love the way this smells. It is very light and airy. It is, um, it is a bit floral, but it's a sweet floral. I like this and I like that it is just free spirited and it's just such a beautiful fragrance. Daytime, nighttime, whenever you wanna rock this, you wanna take this to the beach, you can. You wanna go on a plane with this. You wanna go on a cruise with this. It is a very nice fragrance and I am here. For the next item that I picked up is the Champagne Sprinkles Fine Fragrance Mist. And I picked up a backup while I was at the store. So I have one with a gold top and one with a purpley pinky type of top. They smell the same, both. There is no rhyme or reason why Bath & Body did this. I'm not gonna complain because it doesn't matter. Period. So I've already used this. As you can see, I'm all the way down to here. The fragrance notes are sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. And of course, I'm here for all of it. Um, I love this. I love the way it smells. It is very, very nice. It's fruity. It's sweet. It's sexy. It's girly. It's flirty. It's everything that I want to be this summer. And I will accomplish it by using this. So I had to get the backup. So I ended up with two of those. I also picked up only one of the Champagne Sprinkles Shower Gel. 
I didn't think I would like it, but when I got home and I smelled the fine fragrance mist, I kicked myself three times. Um, and that's okay, because whether they come back or not, at least I have every part of the line. And um, yeah, so I'm happy. I picked up two of the Champagne Sprinkles body creams. That's how addicting this thing is. It smells so sweet. It smells like fruits and berries, and it's a little bit sparkly, like champagne-y, but it's different. But this definitely drew me in, and I'm glad that I have it to add to my collection. The final three items that I have in this bag are another controversial item. I like it. I'm mad that I didn't have a chance to go back and pick up some more, but this is the Honeysuckle Peach Tea Fine Fragrance Mist. I also got the body cream and I picked up the shower gel. The fragrance notes are Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches, and Sweet Tea. And you can smell everything in this line. You definitely get the Honeysuckle, which makes it a bit sweet. Definitely smell the sweet tea in here. It smells very much like a Long Island iced tea without the alcohol. Yeah, that's exactly what this smells like. Somebody made a reference, um, I can't remember who it was, and they referred the peach scent to be in the peach buzz on the outside. Listen, you were spot on. I can't remember your name, but you were spot on. This definitely is peach fuzz and not the meat inside of the peach. And if I see another one left at my store, you best believe I'm grabbing everything that I can from the line because I am obsessed. That is it for that bag. So we're gonna move into this bag right here. Um, and this one mostly has that red, white, and blue, I believe, collection. I believe that's what it's called. Don't come for me. But um, hey, I had to grab up what I could because again, I am obsessed. I needed everything in the line and um, I'm not sharing. I was able to pick up the Bonfire Bash Fine Fragrance Mist and I picked up my backup while I was at it. Fragrance notes are Vanilla Bourbon, Creamy Sandalwood and Cashmere Musk. Now I did pick up a set of these on the Winter SAS and this is definitely a toned down version of that one. And this is the epitome of summer, definitely. This reminds me of when my girls and I go out camping. Yeah, this definitely smells like marshmallows roasting on an open fire. That is what this smells like. And I love this. I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up at 75% off. I had to grab what I could because this is bomb. I also picked up the body lotion for Bonfire Bash. Smells really great as well. And I think that is it for Bonfire Bash. Now I'm gonna show you uh, the Firecracker Pop. I was able to pick up just one body mist. Um, I love this, it really smells good. I used this on the 4th of July to go to my neighbor's house. She was having a little gathering for vaccinated people only and um, she invited me. Um, so I went over, but I sprayed this thing. I used this in all forms, and this smelled so fabulous. I mean, I got so many compliments from people at the barbecue that I did not even know, and I'm glad that I was able to add this 
to my collection. The fragrance notes are red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. This is definitely a fruity citrus. In my own personal opinion, if you're not against fragrances with cherry in it, you're gonna like this. I absolutely love this thing. And I don't know what else to say. I love it. I picked up the Firecracker Pop Shower Gel. So now I have two of these. I have one in my shower as we speak because I did use it, like I said, for the 4th of July. And I have a Ultra Shea Body Cream. And I have the Body Lotion. Happy to add this to my collection. For sure. Now, finally, to complete my collection for the red, white, and blue, I have the Denim and Daisies Fine Fragrance Mist. The fragrance notes are Sweet Daisies, Sun Washed Denim, and Summer Citrus. I know I have two of these. I know it's just somewhere. I actually wore this to my job on the 3rd of July, we were having a free 4th of July picnic and I wore this thing. You guys. I love this. I love the entire collection. I love this most of all. This is number one for me. This is so soft. This is a sweet, clean, floral fragrance. It smells so unique. When this sits on your skin, it just creates such a unique fragrance that, I mean, it's, it can't compare to anything that anybody else has on around you. I absolutely fell in love with this. And I'm glad that I was able to wear this at the picnic. This is something I wore to the picnic with some jean shorts. I had an off the shoulder white top and I had my hair up in a messy bun. If you wanna be carefree and um, messy looking but put together at the same time, you want a fragrance to go along with that look, this is the fragrance right here for you. Nobody is gonna smell like you when you go out to a picnic, when you go boating. Nobody is gonna smell like you when you go out with the girls on a brunch date. Nobody is going to smell like you. This is definitely niche smelling in my most personal opinion. I love this so much and it smells absolutely beautiful. With that, I picked up the Denim and Daisies body cream. And I picked up the Denim and Daisies shower gel. And also, finally, for Denim and Daisies, I picked up the body lotion. I needed everything to complete the line and my collection now is set. If I see doubles of this at my store, I'm gonna pick up everything that I can because this is definitely backup worthy. Because I'm always at the beach, I picked up two of the Midnight Swim Fine Fragrance Mist. The fragrance notes are Blue Waters, beach flowers, and fresh coastal air. And I figure since because I'm always at the beach, I live at the beach, I can definitely use a couple of these. You can't go wrong with this. It's very nice smelling. It's a little bit salty, if you ask me. 
but it's a sweet fragrance. You get a slight floral note in here. It's just a sweet fragrance and I love that. So I'm glad I had to pick up two of these and I have the body lotion coming in the mail soon. And finally, in this bag, I was able to pick up the sea salt and lavender, fine fragrance mist and shower gel. The fragrance notes are fresh sea salt, blooming lavender and sun drenched sands. And of course, I am starting to fall in love with lavender, like I said in a couple videos ago. My scent preferences are changing. I never would have imagined that I would ever like lavender, but I do. And I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up. This is something that I can definitely use, especially at night. I think it's something that's gonna soothe me. I can use it on a day like today where I am just home, chilling, relaxing. I can use these and um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna love these. Okay, so on to this bag. Um, I picked up another Waikiki Beach Coconut Ultra Shea Body Cream. I grabbed this up when it was 75% off. Fragrance notes are tropical white coconut, saltwater breeze, and sun bleached woods. So I'm happy to add this again to my collection. I also picked up the Sunshine Mimosa Body Cream. The fragrance notes are bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. And I've already used this. Of course, the other one is in my storage unit. So I've used this the other day with the Love Always Wins Body Mist. It smells so good. And of course, one of my favorites is the Into the Night 24 Hour Body Creams. I'm almost out of the other one, even though that's in my storage unit but you could never have too many of these luxury smelling items. I picked up two more of the Papaya Paradise Cove. And you guys, I really underestimated this. I'm so mad I did um, because I actually used this in conjunction with the Fine Fragrance Mist the other day and I could smell myself hours later like hours later. This is one of the lightest smelling body lotions or fragrance mist ever, but I guess it depends on your body chemistry. It just projects and it smells so good. I was blown away after six hours of this being on my skin. I was really, really amazed and I'm happy that I was able to add two more of these body creams to my collection. I also picked up the Beachfront Blanket Fine Fragrance Mist. Fragrance notes are fresh white linens, summer sun rays, and soft musk. Yes, this is a very clean, um, fresh type of fragrance. I love the fact that it is clean. I've already used this twice at night. <sighs> I've used it as a room spray. I have used this on my linens. I have, <sighs> listen, definitely, if you haven't already tried this, try this. So many uses for this, and I'm glad that I have this in my collection. I've picked up an At The Beach body cream and a fine fragrance mist. This makes number two each that I've had in my collection. The other two are in my storage unit, but um, I love this. 
a very nice light airy aquatic type of fragrance in my opinion the bottle is just absolutely gorgeous i love the color of the liquid on the inside and this is definitely a vacation fragrance in my personal opinion love it finally in this bag i picked up three of the watermelon lemonade body washes or shower gels. The fragrance notes are watermelon ice, sparkling waters, and sugared lemon. So I'm glad that I was able to pick up three of these on my trip. I actually went into store the night before. They had like 30 of them on the shelf. The next day after work, I was able to grab three of them. So I'm happy to add these to my collection. You can never have enough body washes, especially watermelon, which is one of my most favorite scents for the summer.